Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a newborn favorites video. Obviously, this is going to be very specific to us and Emerson, our little girl, uh, because what we found out and what I kind of already knew, your favorites are their favorites because it's whatever they like and whatever helps soothe them and works best for them. Take it with a grain of salt. These are things that give us peace of mind and work well for us, but mainly that she really likes. So your baby might be different might prefer different brands, different things, whatever. But I had a lot of people ask me to do a newborn favorites video and we're just gonna get right on into it. I tried to limit it to like 10 to 12 items and there was actually a lot of things that we didn't really put a ton of emphasis on or think we would appreciate until she was already here and things we didn't get until she was already here that have been fantastic. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. I will try to link everything down below. Most of it we bought. Some of the items were gifts from our baby shower. So I'll have to go back and look at where they're from, but I will try to link everything and yeah. Let's get right on into it. I also should have mentioned, I have most of the items up here with me, but obviously baby girl is here and Chris is watching her right now and has a couple of the items, so I can't show them to you, but I will put a picture on the screen. But the first item up is the Owlette sock. This is one thing I can't show you because the one with the actual like little battery and like sensor thing is downstairs, but this is one of the extra socks. So this, we put on her when she sleeps. This is mainly for us and just gives us peace of mind. Obviously, SIDS is a real thing and something that we definitely don't ever want to have to experience. So this sock just kind of gives us peace of mind. It tracks her heart rate and her oxygen levels. And we got the sock, the monitor, and the uh, camera like bundle. I believe it was $2.99. You can get it without the camera if you have another camera monitor, but it was on sale for Prime Day. I linked to that. This for me just gives me so much peace of mind. I feel comfortable sleeping while she has this on and is sleeping and and yeah, so that's gonna be a personal preference thing, but Chris and I both agreed this is our number one, the Owlette sock, once again, because it gives us peace of mind. So we really like it. Uh, it has the app, it tracks her sleep, which is really cool. So Owlette sock is number one for us personal preference. We both think it's totally worth the money. Next item up is some kind of sound machine. I have the Hatch sound machine in here and downstairs actually, because right now she's currently sleeping in our room and spends most of her time sleeping in our room or down in the basement with Chris in a bassinet just because she's still so little. I absolutely love the Hatch sound machine. There is a bunch of different settings. There's a night light, has an app on the phone so you can kind of control it from there, which is really nice. I absolutely love that for breastfeeding in the middle of the night because it's so easy. It's right next to the bed. I don't have to get out of bed. I reach over, get her, start breastfeeding her. I have the little night light on, burper, try to feed her on the other side, and then I'll actually turn the sound machine on if it wasn't already on uh, to try to help her start to get sleepy again. And then hopefully that helps get her back to bed quicker. And in general, you need a sound machine, I think. <laughs> I would assume most parents agree that a sound machine is very helpful. Just the white noise is definitely very soothing to them. So with that being said, the Hatch one is definitely a little bit more expensive. I think it's worth it. Um, but we also have just this like little portable sound machine we got off of Amazon. We actually got this for our puppy uh, when she was a puppy. Technically, I guess she still is. But we got this for Lulu when she was a puppy because the cat run around a ton and it helped her get used to her crate. We've had this for a while. It's nice. There's a little timer on there. We never turn the timer on. We let it just run. But this is really nice when we go on walks or when we take her in the car and just like go places if we try to go out to a restaurant. This is super nice to have. You have different volumes on there. Um, there's different sounds. And then once again, there's timers if you want them. And this can actually like hook on to something. So any kind of sound machine I think is huge, but for us in particular, we really like the Hatch sound machine because it has the night light attached to it, perfect for middle of the night feeds in my opinion. And then the portable sound machine for whenever you're out and about, this thing is fantastic. Going along with that, and this is one of the items I don't have. I did not have it on my registry beforehand. I didn't think we would need it because I'm like, who needs a shusher? Like you can just shush yourself. Let me tell you, we got the shusher off of Amazon uh, when she was going through a very fussy like three day period. And and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like lightheaded from shushing her so much. It is definitely very calming to them. The five S's is a whole thing. She prefers all of them at one time, basically. And the shusher has been amazing. 
there's a timer on that, which I know that was like the one complaint on Amazon was that they wish it went like all the time basically. It's really easy to just turn on and off and then you can adjust the volume as well. So that has been huge for us. That's definitely very calming. We'll get her all swaddled up in a side lying position with her little pacifier in and I'll hold the shusher or like literally have it just like laying on her. That soothes her almost immediately. So the shusher is fantastic. Once again on walks, we'll put this in the little bassinet or in the car seat or whatever she's in. We'll have this going and then we'll have the shusher if she's not already asleep and that usually does the trick. So white noise, fantastic. Shusher is just like a le extra little cherry on top. It's worked really well for us and for her. So great little investment from Amazon. Next up, like you heard me just say, the girl likes the five S's all put together basically. So she loves her pacifiers. This was something I wasn't really planning on introducing for a little while just because, or like for the first two weeks, because I know that there was like, oh, a bottle, it can have nipple confusion. And same thing with this, like if you're trying to breastfeed, sucking is definitely very, very soothing to her. And when we were leaving the hospital, the nurse actually gave us one of these. It was, it was a green one instead of a purple one. She stopped crying immediately. She loves these things. And I know pacifiers can actually Actually help with SIDS. It can help them learn how to like breathe properly. We have of these four, four or six. I forget how many came in the last pack we bought, but Chris, we were going through this list together trying to make it because I wanted to make sure I wasn't forgetting anything. And he was like, pacifiers, like lots of pacifiers, make sure you have them everywhere. Uh, these are definitely super helpful once again on walks if she's a little fussy and we make sure she has one of these. She loves them. These are the ma'am pacifiers. I don't know, I'll have them linked down below. They gave us one of these at the hospital and she liked it a lot and I already had one in the like pacifier testing kit that Baby List had. Uh, I got the bottle kit, the pacifier kit and the diaper kit so I could kind of like test out different brands and see which ones she liked before I bought a ton. She loved the one that the hospital gave us or sent us home with. And so I ordered a, more of these and she just loves them. So the ma'am pacifier, that one in particular, that will be linked down below. Definitely a favorite of ours. And once again, hers. I should mention these are in no particular order. The Owlette sock is probably number one just because it gives us so much peace of mind, but the rest of them are just like all equal. They're all in different categories, but we like them a lot. The one that I didn't bring up here and I totally could have, we liked her Kite Baby onesies a lot, the little zippy onesies. So easy to get on and off, so easy for diaper changes. She hates having her diaper changed. The older she gets, she's getting better with it. But those are just so easy. They're so soft and comfortable. They're nice and lightweight too. So I feel like she doesn't get too hot, even if we do swaddle her up in one, which she seems to like a lot at night. Um, so yeah, we liked the Kite Baby onesies. I know they're more expensive. I snagged a bunch of them on sale, which was really nice, but they're all neutral colors. You can match them with anything. They're super stretchy. So the newborn sizes we got are still fitting her when some of the other brands, she's already into a zero to three month, which is what a lot of you told me that the kite baby ones last a long time. So far we're noticing that as well. So they're a little bit more expensive, but we like the little zippy onesies a lot. I'll put a little picture on the screen, but if you follow me on Instagram, those are most of the ones you saw her in for the first three or four weeks because those were like the only ones that fit her. That was like the only newborn stuff I got. She seemed to like them. We liked them a lot. And once again, they're still fitting because they're so stretchy. Next one up, I'm, I'm reading this off my phone to make sure I don't forget anything. Diaper caddies. Realistically, I think this would be amazing to have on every single level. We have a very interesting house layout. So we have a lot of different levels. I am gonna get another one of these. So we have one on the three main levels but this is fantastic. Diaper caddy, so you have all the essentials you need with you. It's very easy to just pick up and take somewhere if you need to. So we obviously always have diapers, burp, cloths. We're gonna talk about these in a second, okay? Uh, always have lots of burp cloths in here. Obviously we have wipes. And then this one, let's see, have a little thermometer, little pacifier clips, haven't used those yet. This was actually gifted to us for or at our baby shower and it was like set up all super cute. So these have been in there. Little lotion, um, more little lotion, a little nail kit. The other diaper caddy has like the little nail clippers. And then where's the, oh, the pacifier. Oh, I already took the pacifier out. Yeah, pacifier. And then this has been in here, but we actually haven't used it. This is diaper balm, the earth mama. So these are just super easy to carry around. I believe this was from Amazon as well. 
but once again, I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, diaper caddies are so easy, just makes it really easy to go throughout the house and make sure you have everything you need. So I would recommend having one of those on each level so you're not constantly running up and down. Honestly, having a change of clothes in there would also be clutch because if your baby's anything like ours, she spits up a lot and she needs changed a lot. So having a change of clothes. That would also be nice. Next favorite up, like I just mentioned, burp cloths. We have three different kinds. Um, I've kind of rotated which ones are my favorite, but at the end of the day, as long as it's gonna catch spit up, I'm cool with it. Um, these are the colored organic ones. These were a little bit more expensive, but I'm actually growing to like these a lot. They seem like they're more absorbent than the um, muslin ones that I have off of Amazon. They're good too, but I just feel like she can spit up on this and it doesn't bleed through or like soak through to my shirt underneath immediately. Whereas the muslin ones, if she spits up on it, I immediately have a wet spot on my shirt. This one, I don't know if you can tell, it's like single lined on these sides and then this one is double lined. So it catches a lot and it doesn't necessarily bleed through immediately. My favorite that we have are the Burt's Bees ones. I got these off of Amazon as well. These are just thicker and I feel like they do a really good job of once again like catching everything. They're super absorbent and just easy but at the end of the day burp cloths make sure you have a lot of them. That's what I've learned or else you're doing laundry. I mean where are you doing laundry every day? You don't have to be worried that you're gonna run out of burp cloths because you haven't done a load of laundry in a day. Um, these are the muslin ones. They're nice. I liked them in the beginning but the more I use them I realized they weren't as absorbent as the other ones. So the colored organic ones I like and the Burt's Bees ones are definitely my favorite just because they're thicker and more absorbent. So that's my two cents on burp cloths. I'm sure there's so many different brands. Those are just the ones that I tried and the ones that I have been liking. I'm sure there's so many that you guys could list down below that you love. Uh, these were definitely expensive. You don't need ones like these. I think I got those on sale too uh, and a bunch of people recommended the colored organics and I grabbed those while I was getting like her little leggings and stuff like that. You definitely don't need like the nice ones but just get ones that are thicker and more absorbent or else like when I feed her with the muslin ones I feel like I could go through definitely two. Sometimes I go through three and it's like this is ridiculous. Way too much. But the Burt's Bees ones I can just have one the entire time and it's fantastic. Next item up, our little portable fan. This thing is amazing for going on walks whenever she's in her car seat. Basically anytime we leave the house, we have this thing attached to her car seat or the bassinet that attaches to our stroller. That is something that is very specific maybe to our baby, but having a car seat that goes like clips very easily in and out of your stroller and especially having the bassinet that does the same thing. We've loved that. She loves the bassinet on walks. She could be screaming her face off crying. And if we put her in the bassinet with the white noise to go on a walk, she stops crying. She'll be wide awake the whole time just looking around. She loves it. Um, that's a little side point, but Portable fan. This is amazing. It has three different settings. Keeps her cool. Um, obviously this is kind of like specific to the season. It's summer. It's really hot outside and this is really nice to make sure she doesn't overheat. She definitely stays more comfortable. And it's nice because you can just wrap it around anything. It looks like the little tripod that I use on my camera, but just a little fan off of Amazon, affordable, very good. Next up, bottles. This is actually one that Chris wanted me to include. I'm obviously breastfeeding her. So if I'm feeding her, she's on the boob. <laughs> I hardly ever feed her with a bottle, but Chris said out of the like little bottle kit that I got off of baby list, it came with like one of each bottle to try. He said she likes this one the most and that it seems to be most like the nipple. So we got more of these off of Amazon. I got like a four pack with the two bigger bottles and two smaller ones like this. The whole thing comes apart, but I think most bottles are like that. So it's easy to clean and make sure you get it like fully, fully clean and sanitized and all of that. But he wanted me to include these. He said she by far drinks the best from these and seems to do the best with them. It's never interfered with breastfeeding at all, which is really nice. She definitely breastfeeds more than she bottle feeds, but this is the one we use, the Como Tomo. I feel like there's more items than I thought 
that I included, but you know what? I'm just, I'm listing our favorites and her favorites and stuff that like we could not go without or don't want to go without, I should say. Next up, there's one item I can't include because it's downstairs and I didn't want to lug the whole thing up here, but the Love Every Play Gym. She loves these little contrast cards slip into the top. If you've watched my vlogs, you've seen her lay down on the thing and look at all of them and you've heard me talk about these before, but it's just super nice to have all like the little developmental things and the play gym itself has a little mirror that's attached to it once again the little cards slip into the top which is really nice it comes with cards and then i actually i have more of them because i also got the looker kit for the 0 to 12 week like developmental kit that they send so those two have been huge just because you're already so overwhelmed as a new parent and it's nice to have that just sent to you you know like it gives you a whole little like roadmap literally a little roadmap of like what you should be doing with them and what steps to do them in. So that's been huge for us. We don't have to do a ton of research and like make sure everything we have is age appropriate. So the love every lookbook, looker kit, and the play gym she loves. Next item up, this is more for me. I don't think she cares at all about this, but a little breastfeeding pillow or just nursing pillow, this makes it so much more comfortable on you. And even if she's napping on me, it's so nice. I can, like for feeding, I'll have this like off to a side. So it's way less pressure on me and like my back being leaned over and supporting her. She can just kind of lay on this. It's very comfortable. I can sit up more straight. <laughs> I feel like breastfeeding could easily ruin your posture. It also, just by looking down all the time, I feel like it screws your neck up. Um, but yeah, even when they're napping, just a good nursing pillow. This one in particular is the Snuggle Me, Snuggle Me feeding pillow or something like that. They have lots of different brands, obviously. I think the Boppy is another one that's really popular. I liked this one a lot just because the sides are thinner, so I feel like it's easier to go behind you rather than the ones that are like the same width all the way around. So we've really liked this. It comes with, or it doesn't come with, you can purchase covers separately. So I have a couple different covers for this and I actually ordered a second pillow to keep downstairs. So I basically have a pillow for her nursery and for our room that I can easily take from room to room. And then one for the bottom floors, just because I hate having to run all the way upstairs. Does it sound silly? Maybe, but when you're holding a baby 24 seven and like you don't wanna constantly be running up and downstairs, at least I don't. So I ordered a second pillow um, cause Chris has been having her downstairs with him at night in the bassinet and I'm upstairs. So instead of having to change it every single day, we have a pillow in both spots. And also a favorite, the Snuggle Me Infant Lounger. She loves this thing. Okay, I had so many people say that it worked really well for them and then another group of people They were like they grow out of it so fast. It's not worth it for us. It's worth it She prefers this over her bassinet tenfold. It's very similar to the whole like docatot situation So you can always just get that one if you're looking for something like this But once again, this comes or doesn't come with I need to stop saying that we sell covers for it So I just take these on and off and wash them because she uses this so much, I've actually purchased, I think three more, three or four more covers since she's arrived just because she loves this thing. And then once again, they spit up on it. And if they have a blowout, you get the picture. So she loves this, it's very supportive. It offers a lot of support while they're laying down. So I feel like she definitely prefers to be in our arms and like sleeping in our arms. So this, because it snugs her in with the sides, um, I feel like she, feels like she's still being held even though she's not. So that allows me to get more work done and set her down, which is lovely and to me a necessity and also to Chris because we both work full time. <laughs> Let me see if I'm forgetting it. Oh yeah, okay. So the last thing I'm gonna include, Chris also wanted me to make sure I included it, the baby Bjorn. She is currently in it downstairs. She loves that thing. Kind of the same thing with like putting her in the stroller and walking her around with a white noise. The baby Bjorn just having like a little bounce, she loves the thing. So that has definitely helped us. If she's fussy, we can put her in there and that seems to calm her. She can hang out in there for a while, obviously being supervised, but she loves the baby Bjorn a lot. That was an item on baby list that was very highly requested and like a top item to add to your baby list or your registry, whatever. And she's been loving that. So those are my top items. I could include more diaper specific. She doesn't really seem to prefer one brand of diaper over the other. Um, not really like the pacifier and the bottles. The diapers, I will say, the Codier ones or whatever, 
I think Cody is how you pronounce it. I, those are actually the ones I'm on right now. Like I mentioned, I got the like diaper kit to see which brand she liked the best. And the Cody Air ones are by far the softest and most absorbent in my opinion. I feel like they've gotta be more comfortable on her after having her in one of those or feeling one of those and then feeling a normal one. You're like, ooh, I feel like these other brands would like cause chafing or just irritate their skin. It doesn't seem to bother her. She seems to be able to wear all the diapers fine. As long as you put a diaper on properly, I feel like you can avoid blowouts as long as you make sure that like the little ruffles are pulled out and it's up high enough in the back. So she doesn't really have blowouts in one diaper, like one kind of diaper over another. I think once we get through the diapers that we were gifted and the ones that I already had here, I'm probably gonna get more of those just because they do seem like they'd be way softer on her skin. I know they're more expensive, but just figured I'd touch on that because I did try the little diaper kit. She can wear all of them, but those are much softer than the rest and I just feel like they'd be more comfortable. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, the one other thing I was going to mention or recommend. If you're planning on having your baby sleep in a bassinet in your room in the beginning, I would highly recommend having a extra changing pad in your room just because at least her nursery is on a different level than our bedroom and I don't want to have to like always come up to her nursery to change her. So we have an extra changing pad in our bedroom. It we basically, this little setup, I kind of made one in our room. It has the changing pad and then I have two two or three little bins full of her current like newborn or zero to three month clothes. Just because she's she's not in her nursery right now, it makes sense to have things closer so we're not constantly running up here. So I would recommend having another changing pad. That, that has worked really well for us because she really isn't up here that often. But yeah, other than that, those are our favorites and her favorites. Hopefully you found that helpful. Helpful. If you're also a parent, maybe comment down below some of your babies and your favorites. But yeah, I really, I think it comes down to what your baby likes and what is most helpful for you and your household and your situation. So that's what works for us. And I don't think I forgot anything. If I did, I will put a little thing on the screen right now and write out what it is or put pictures on the screen. But I think those were the ones I tried to limit it to. So I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Actually about to get changed, but this is a little setup. I have changing pad covers and the other like lounger covers in there. We did get a little diaper warmer. We keep diapers here, obviously the pad, which is super helpful. And then we have clothes ready for her. Yeah, could you spend most of your time in here? Okay.